Kasato Zone, Chisenyi 2 Parish, Kampala Central Division, a home to thousands of Somali nationals living in Uganda. But what do these people have to say about being stigmatized because of the actions of a single militant group? Somali youth living in Chisenyi, a sprawling slum in the city, often play a popular board game, Ludo. Because many Somalis live here, they feel relatively safe. 30-year-old Fatuma Hassan has lived in Uganda since 1992. She is a resident of Kasato Zone in Chisenyi and she cut her teeth in business here. Life was good when she had just settled in Chisenyi. It was fine, it was good, no problem with that. However, Fatuma says that since Al Shabaab insurgents attacked Kampala on July 11, 2010, life has never been the same again. People they are abusing, abusing all over, whether you are Somali, whether you are Chotara, they don't differentiate. They abuse all over. If you go to town for shopping, if you go somewhere, you can't go when you, are, you feel okay. They overtalk people, they turn to look at you. We just leave them. Fatuma says that the recent attack on the Westgate Mall in Nairobi has sent security agencies in Kampala in overdrive. She is not the only one crying foul. Mohammed Dauda Ali has also faced racial profiling. But we, most of the times we explain to them Al Shabaab, the word Al Shabaab is just, it means youth. So, and it's a group of people who, who are called terrorists. But it doesn't mean all Somalians are terrorists, you know. So we, we are okay. We don't have a problem with that. It is not easy for many Somalis to do business in an environment poisoned by suspicion. Uh, we left our country to be in the citizen of Uganda, to be as a refugee, to seek for peace and order in the country to grow up well. Uh, we are tired of saying Al-Shabaab, we want to fight against this issue. However, leaders of the Somali community have taken the initiative. Often they hold meetings with relevant state and security organs to discuss the threat of terrorism. We have to fight. We have to fight uh, both sides, how we live peace in this country. When you serve, I serve. When I serve, you serve. Meanwhile, police today carried out an operation and shut down several shopping malls in downtown Kampala. According to police, the buildings did not have any security provisions. So we, we have put up these measures to ensure that security is stepped up. Everybody is conscious of the security around him or her for the good of everybody. And we don't want to inconvenience them. But we also want them to be safe. So that must be followed. Police say that the crackdown will continue on most of the buildings in the city that do not conform to standards. So here, Mugawi, NTV, Weekend Edition.